Welcome to Varsity. I'm Ryan Aber, joined by Scott Wright. Scott, uh, been an interesting couple weeks in the recruiting realm. Uh, first of all, Ryan Spangler this week uh, decides first to transfer from Gonzaga and then uh, eventually to, to wind up at OU. What do you think about that move for him? Uh, you know, a little bit surprised that, uh, that he did leave Gonzaga, but obviously being that far away, a small town guy whose family is very important to him. And uh, so he saw the opportunity to get back close to home and, uh, and, and get in there with a program that, uh, that seems to be on the rise at Oklahoma. It, was, uh, it seems like a perfect fit, really, if you look at, at the traits of the type of players that Long Kruger likes to recruit. Uh, he really fits that mold. He's going to come in there and work hard. Uh, you know, he's six, he's six eight, but he's got a long wingspan. plays plays a little bit taller than that. A uh, really talented kid. He he can step out and shoot a little bit. Handles the ball decent. Uh, he's got a year to uh, to grow and and learn that system. I think it's a really good fit for both Spangler and Oklahoma. Uh, you know, had uh, had, the, had things been different uh, at Oklahoma two years ago, I think he probably would have ended up there anyway. I uh, really liked that uh, that program to begin with. So, um, but uh, Jeff Cable obviously didn't didn't recruit him a whole lot. On the football side, uh, the Sooners uh, picked up a pretty impressive commitment from another in-state kid. Yeah, DJ Ward, number one uh, player from the class of the state of Oklahoma for uh, 2013, committed after going to the spring game this weekend, told me that he really uh, didn't expect to make a commitment uh, when he was uh, coming down to Norman, just wanted to sort of soak it all in. He's been at OU uh, quite a bit, almost every home game last year. He'd been to OSU, been to a couple other places as well. But uh, on Saturday, went to Norman. The weather wasn't very cooperative, but uh, after sitting down talking with Bobby Jack Wright, who he's become really close with, uh, just decided that it was time to go ahead and end it and, uh, and, and commit to the Sooners. He's uh, also a really good fit. They've got now two defensive end commitments. They're not going to uh, let up and, and stop recruiting defensive ends. They've got a couple other elite guys, but he's a, a pretty good uh, building block for the defensive class of 2013. And uh, another guy that we've talked about uh, a lot in football, but uh, is making an impact in track. He's got a, a lot of offers. Uh, Magnus Scott from Coyle, what's the latest with him? A lot going on with this kid. Program after program keeps coming in and, and looking at, at, at this guy. Oklahoma State, Arizona State, uh, Arkansas is the, the big one that's come on the board here lately. He's trying to get a, a visit scheduled out there. He was supposed to go uh, late last month and that didn't work out, so he's rescheduling that. But uh, but really big time programs coming after this kid for uh, for track. Uh, he originally wanted to, to try and play, find a place where he could play football and track, uh, but now I think that his his track recruiting has has gone to this other level now that uh, maybe even he didn't know that it was going to go to and and so I think that he's pretty comfortable going somewhere and and just being a sprinter uh, really fast he he won at the John Jacobs Invitational at OU which is always one of the bigger meets around uh, beat some big school guys there pretty interesting to see a kid from such a such a tiny place such a small school uh, to go and have this kind of success on the, on a, on the big stage but we see a couple of those guys break out the last few years especially in the football side but uh, certainly in track you can see it as well. So it'll be interesting to see where he winds up and if his football career is indeed uh, over in favor of his track. Scott, thanks for joining us and thank you. Check us out every day at newsok.com slash varsity for the best high school coverage anywhere. <laughs>